I thought you were a tacky salesman with a cheap gimmick. And you kind of are, but uh, you do know something that I'm just figuring out. That a magazine is, it's got to make you feel something. Okay, we gotta lure them in with pantyhose and perfume, things that make them feel safe. You think I never tried to get Cadillacs and caviar? Classy companies have never put their ad across from a pair of titties, and they're certainly not going anywhere near a dog. Well, no, obviously not when you talk about it like that. But maybe it's better if I just speak with the high-end buyers directly. What? Half of my magazine has just disappeared. I cannot go to the printers tomorrow. Oh, you'll figure it out. Oh, that, you're done. That's it. There's no more advice. I can't put my name on every single article, though. That's not professional. So change them. What to? Norman Mailer, Samantha Shortcake. It doesn't matter. You're the editor. Edit the magazine. You know, Doug, in your own way, you're actually a really good boss. I, I want to say thank you for giving things a chance. Are you trying to get in my pants, Brigger? Because I don't put out in the office anymore. I learned that lesson. This is our only chance to make a first impression. We are introducing something completely new. We have to get this right. You may be the brains, but he's the face, and there's a reason they call the face the money maker. It's what makes the money. Yes, I get it. And maybe, you know, just to play devil's advocate, aren't we here because joicing is effective? I, I, I activated those workers, didn't I'm I? I'm so sorry. What is your argument here? That maybe I'm the perfect person to change a few hearts and minds about reproductive rights. Okay, you know what? I think they made their position on the pill crystal clear, Prigger. Why don't we take them at their word and stop pissing them off? Are you okay? Yeah, great, yes. Why do you always assume that it's my fault? Oh, was it some other jackass in a pussy bow riling up the warehouse guys? Educating them about workers' rights? It's a wildly unsafe environment. Surely even the mob doesn't want their employees dying on the job. They're the mob. They're famous for being OK with it. And I'm the bad guy here. Look at how many more dicks you got. Mm -hmm. You should be so proud of this excellent magazine. Yeah, but what's the point of making it excellent if everybody's reading it the wrong way? What, what do you mean by that? You mean like back to front? Look, what you made, it means something to people, and I didn't know what to do with that. And so I turned it into something pretty ugly, and I got, um, I got pretty ugly along the way, too, so. That is very big of you to admit. Doug. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs>